talking about and uh, you can share later on around the question, why do we sing? And I want to ask you, if you have a memory from your childhood or your more recent past of singing in a group. Mm -hmm. So after my presentation, you might want to share that memory with, with one another. Mm -hmm. So I think you would find, upon reflection, that your memory of singing with a group might have done several things. It might have helped you express a feeling like joy, or it might have brought you comfort that you needed. Maybe it helped you learn something. Some of our hymns are actually didactic. They're, they're teaching hymns. Um, well, in the case of the children, like when they sing, Chalice, chalice burning bright, may you show to us your light. Let us always learn to share with all people everywhere. They're learning something when they sing that. Or in, in our hymnal, bring many names, beautiful and good. And then it talks about all the different names that we can call the divine. Think about Christmas. Think about how much theology and uh, biblical history you're learning when you sing Christmas carols. The whole story of Jesus is there. Singing can also help you relate to other people. So music has a social use. Think of young people gathering in a club and everybody singing and dancing and yelling. And think of the experience in a ballpark of singing with your friends or, of course, singing in church. So um, how many people were here at the singing meditation service a couple weeks ago? Mm -hmm. okay. Some of what you're going to hear will, will sound familiar to you, and that's... That is not a problem because I think that it starts to sink more deeply in that way. Human beings are hardwired to create songs, create music, create sound. Just by virtue of the fact that we walk, we have a rhythm. Your heart beats, obviously, with a beat. Your breathing, those are all rhythmic. What about pitch? Well, we have different inflections in the way we speak. And even if you think about the utterances you make, um, like uh, when you see a little baby, oh, you know, that's always a high pitch. If you're trying to unscrew a lid from a jar, oh, that's a low pitch. So it's all, it's all there, pitch, rhythm, musicality, it's in everybody. And indeed, we humans have been singing, dancing, and drumming together for 100,000 years. So. We have this inside of us, and it's just waiting to come out. Um, now, in modern times, we think more of music as something you purchase, something you listen to, something you watch, rather than something you create. And um, this has become my evolving mission, actually, as a musician, is to help people find meaning through music, find meaning in their lives, which means that they, first of all, have to acknowledge that there is music in them. So we all have it, even though nowadays we might measure our own voices, our beautiful natural voices against the amplified, super enhanced sound that we purchase or watch for entertainment. But really what we do here today is much more about, about singing than you know, listening to the the, uh, the Super Bowl halftime show is. I mean, we we are about music. So uh, singing requires no advanced degree. You don't need a license to do it. It's 100% natural and organic, and it's legal in all 50 states. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just so good for us. Right now it is, yes. We hope they don't take it away. Um, so when you sing, how is it good for your body? It helps you breathe deeply. We know that's beneficial. You can actually alter your, your brain waves through singing. It can bring you into a more relaxed state of mind, or it can inspire creativity. Those are both different parts of the brain that are engaged through singing. Uh, music can uh, measurably lower blood pressure, slow heart rate. So singing, music, it supports our whole selves and our well-being. Now what about um, how people in 
let's just in a really, really broad sense, in a very broad sense, call us people of God. We are descended from traditions that recognized God. So as people of God, look back in the, the scriptures and you find, I, I looked this up online, and there were probably millions of references in the Bible to singing and music. And the one that I really liked was, is Psalm 81. Sing for joy to God our strength. Shout aloud to the God of Jacob. Begin the music. Strike the tambourine. Play the melodious harp and lyre. Sound the ram's horn at the new moon. And when the moon is full on the day of our feast. This is a decree for Israel, an ordinance of the God of Jacob. So it was actually a commandment. Sing and make, make joy. Um, St. Augustine said, to sing is to pray twice. Uh, taking a cue from Pastor Charlie a few weeks ago, he talked about, um, was it just this last week? He mentioned a book by Annie Lamott called Help, Thanks, Wow, The Three Essential Prayers. So I got to thinking about this and how uh, this is so intrinsic in music. If you take the two ideas that St. Augustine presented to sing is to pray twice, and this whole idea of help thanks well in prayer. And I thought about all of our hymns, and the ones that just came to my mind I thought we could share together today. For, for help, I thought of comfort me. For thanks, I thought of Oh, we give thanks. And for wow, I thought of Blue Boat Home. A few weeks ago, Lauren Poor presented a service called The Permutations of Prayer. And one of the things she said that really struck me was when we pray, if, if, if we do pray, we as you use are really praying to ourselves. I don't know how you want to interpret that. I'm not sure I could tell how I interpret it, but it struck me as true. And immediately I thought of comfort me as a prayer to ourselves. And I'd like to sing that one together first as the first classification of prayer, which is help. So comfort me. One zero zero two. One zero zero two. We usually only sing the two verses. Let's indeed sing all the verses today. <clears throat> and just do whatever is singing for you. Today it might be humming. It might be tapping your foot. Just do whatever that is for you.
that's help. Uh, the next one is thanks. <clears throat> and I'd like to do, oh, we give thanks. 10 10. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.